What's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name is Blitzwanger, ladies and gents. Welcome back to a brand new Luigi's Mansion new video. We are continuing the gameplay walkthrough, and as you can see, we picked things up on the eighth floor, but we are trying to pursue this, uh, what was it called? I think it was called the Polter Kitty, I think is the uh, title of the ghost that we're currently trying to chase down. So we need to head back to the garden suites, I would imagine, because we saw the uh, Polter Kitty dive down one floor below so we're actually i guess we don't necessarily know how many floors below but we're assuming that it would be just one floor below so this is one of those rare times where we're actually going back to a floor that we've been to already so definitely kind of cool to see that don't forget guys of course if you do enjoy today's walkthrough please consider leaving a like that would be very very much appreciated thank you guys so very much for going out of the uh, out of your way to show support okay i don't even know what we're gonna get here Oh, okay, it's just the crystal. We've already got that, so... It's not really... What the heck just got me? Oh! Here we go. My gosh, I took so much damage there. That was quite frustrating. Okay... So the question is whether or not my theory is correct. And it looks like it might be because you can see all these little footsteps. I was right. Okay. Come on, Luigi. Okay, back to scanning mode. Have to continue scanning as to where this cat went. So the hope is that it's just further up. Oh, wait a minute. It was up here. At some point. Did it then go this way? It sure did. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll see. And back to scan. Oh, I was able to leap across. Okay. So, in theory, this cat should be in here! Maybe. Uh, wait, what? So, went through here. Is it inside this thing? Isn't this the room that had the chainsaw item or... It's just very odd, because you can see the steps leading this way. Hmm. Because it looks like the design goes this way, then points up, then down. Then I have no idea where it actually went. Thought maybe it's hiding inside the plant somehow. It's probably not it. And I don't see any of that uh, chainsaw up here. Let's check the other room. Maybe it's over here. Who knows, right? Let's scan this area. It actually doesn't seem to be popping up. Let's check over here, I wonder. Huh. Well, there's nothing. Okay, so then it must be over there. Like, it has to be. Huh. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized there's a painting over here. Could it be in the painting? Okay, what in the heck happened? This is so confusing. How could it not be in there? makes no sense because it's almost like it's over here let's let's call uh, professor egad maybe he could help us out with this task the poultry kitty must be somewhere on this floor you should be able to use the dark light to figure out where it went um i guess not I 
It's just so annoying because you can see just a bunch of steps here. Which seem to almost like point in, out. It's like it circles here. Oh my gosh, you're just supposed to press X? Are you kidding me? Wow, what an absolute travesty of a challenge. I cannot believe it. We did have the right idea, I guess just a tad bit late on that. Whoa! Watch out. Okay, so we know that this thing's gonna try to attack. And... Okay, so we have to turn Luigi's back. And then you just kind of wait. And wait. Oh my! Wow, I pressed. I'm such a buffoon. I literally just misclicked. We had the right idea. <laughs> I went to press R and I pressed ZR by mistake. And... There we are. We did it! We have defeated! This thing? Maybe? Nope, looks like it's still got another life. Okay. Oh. And so there it goes. It's headed this way. Or at least it was headed this way. And... Did it... Go out? Or no? <gasps> Whoa! Huh. Okay. So it just went climbing higher. I... I wonder if that means higher in the same spot, or maybe the eighth floor altogether. I guess we'll see. Ooh. Okay, a bunch of spiders. All defeated. Nothing here. I guess we might as well just check all the way up, just to be sure. Whoa. That's terrifying. So this is where the chainsaw was, by the way. Wait, what the heck is that thing? Yeah, man. Okay. I don't even know what that ghost was. That was a bizarre ghost, for sure. Did the... I don't see anything that indicates that the cat went this way. Okay, well, it's definitely... It seems like it has arrived over here. Huh. What is it that it just appeared? Okay, so... Now we're just gonna... Ta-da! Come on! How do we... Because <clears throat> we can clearly tell that it's there. Ooh, I wonder, maybe we need to fill the tub with water, maybe? I guess that would be possible here. So let's activate this again. So... Ow. Let's stop taking damage. How about that? That seems like a pretty good idea. No? Okay. So I think... Maybe you're supposed to... There we go. Let's go. There goes the water filling up. Is that supposed to keep going? Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now we wait again. Whoa. 
Here we go. Now we wait patiently while the cat tries to strike. This has been the most, like, extravagant boss fight we have fought so far. There's so much to it. Great! But we are victorious. I believe. Did we do it? Is he gonna... Oh my gosh, he still has the elevator button. Yay, we got it. Okay, so that's Polter, Polter Kitty defeated. And most importantly, the elevator button for the ninth floor finally recovered. Oh, okay. So now Luigi can get back on track. We can get back down the way we uh, climbed in order to go on ahead and get back on track with the ninth floor, which we we're going to visit until that Polter Kitty, Polter Kitty showed up and uh, stole the elevator button. But that is all now done. I wonder, can we... Wait, can we not? Are you kidding me? Okay, for a moment there, I thought there was no way across. I'm going back. Because again, the game does have a tad bit of issues, in my opinion, with the depth. Like, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to know how far you can move into the background and into the foreground and vice versa. So it can be uh, a tad bit challenging. But all in all, uh, we still got it. Figuring it out. Okay, so... For now... We head this way. We've already collected that crystal, so if you're worried about that, don't be. We've already got that done. And here we go. Let's get that oh. elevator button oh, yeah. animation uh -huh. again. Yeah. Here we go. Uh -huh. Finally. Uh -huh. It is about time. Ta-da. Oh, yeah. Couldn't we have just... By the way, I just realized. Does every button only fit one way, or couldn't we just... Use the same button, just unscrew it that way, screw it into whatever spot you need to go. Did I just break the game? <laughs> it's like, stop using all that logic! How dare you! For that is far too much of a logical conclusion there. Right? Okay. So there's Luigi's arrival. Yikes. New floor. Looks like a museum theme for this one. Like a natural museum, I should say. What's with this purple dinosaur here? Is this a... This Barney the Dinosaur reference here? Whoa! Who would have thunk it? Look at that. There's a hidden uh, secret back here. And we actually get our first treasure right off the bat. It's a dinosaur foot uh, in jam form. So that's kind of neat. Okay, this looks like it's missing an egg. I was like, that's pretty clear. Right off the bat. Okay. So nothing particularly amazing as far as the reward is, but... Yes, it is what it is. This area is odd, because it seems to like kind of split off into like a turnaround design. Can we not... Huh, I guess you can't suction cup this. So there must be some way to... Destroy glass, maybe? So maybe that'll be an ability. So maybe that'll be something that unlocks. I suppose. Oh, nice. Okay, we got some HP back, which is fantastic. Can you lower these? That's terrifying. Hopefully not. Hey, there we go. A little bit more treasure. And speaking of treasure... Seems like there might be a tad bit more to be had right here. There we are. Ooh, and we get another gem. Sweet. Okay, so we're off to an excellent start. We won the boss fight, and now we're uh, on a brand new floor, and we're already doing quite well at collecting these items. So, I don't really know how we're going to be able to clear those items, but clearly there's going to be some method 
to them in order to collect some of these items. Maybe... Okay. It doesn't have any type of activation. Whoa, okay. Can we just... Okay, so you can't... It doesn't look like you can actually defeat these crows. You just kind of have to, like... Hope that you walk through without taking any damage. Which I guess we did, so that's nice. Okay, so... Looks like we're going to need the help of both Luigi and Gooigi. And... Ta-da! Dude. That's an awesome looking T-Rex. Okay, let's go take a look at the T-Rex. Sometimes... Wait, what the heck? It just moved, dude. It definitely just moved. Oh, it's Toad! Let's go rescue him, quickly. Ta -da -da! This will be easy. Hello, Toad. There we go. Easy enough. That's another one of the Toads now. Hello. R Rescue? Hello. Uh, run, Luigi. It's a T-Rex. Wait. What happens if he destroys the painting? Okay. Are you kidding me? So I guess Luigi's supposed to what, get eaten as well now? Or are we just supposed to fight the giant T-Rex? First we got a fight with a cat, now we're fighting a giant T-Rex. Of course. There we are. I think we got a pretty good handle on this. Sort of. Okay, a little bit of damage done. Watch out. Dude, you're gonna bring this whole floor down if you do this. Is this thing gonna drop the eggs or? Yikes, I really don't wanna be taking damage here. There you go. So the problem here is that we would need two. Hmm. I think we're gonna need to wait for a secondary egg to pop up, basically. Because otherwise, how are we gonna do damage? I'm trying to look around. Could we pick up one of the pieces of debris? I wonder if he's supposed to. Okay, careful. So. Well, that doesn't work. Hmm. What the heck am I missing here? Okay, I mean, it's quite obvious. If only there was something other than an egg for it to chew on. That would give you just the opportunity you need. Could we... Could we use Guiji? Okay, maybe. Yep, we sure could. There we are. Thank you, Guiji. You're awesome. Making a bit of a sacrifice here to try to defeat a giant T-Rex. Oh no, it's about to break free. Okay, well that's really bad news. Because now it's going to be able to move, right? Run. Run. Oh. Okay, so it's got a supersonic roar, I suppose. Okay, for now we just we just sort of run, I and mean, that's all we can do. I wonder if we're supposed to get him to stomp here. Come on, come at us! And this thing is, of course, I'm assuming at least possessed by a ghost, right? Whoa. Okay. Ah! There we are. 
little bit more damage. Run! <laughs> oh, this is scary. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think we got him. Oh my gosh. There we go. Whew. Okay. Um, definitely a much more intense battle than the one that we had against the Poulter Kitty, but this thing was not particularly challenging. It was just kind of terrifying just because it's just such a giant enemy. Uh oh. So it's like a barbarian ghost. And now he's actually a ghost. Instead of being a possessed dinosaur. Okay. I guess the question here now is... How do we... Okay, so he's gonna use the bone. Jump over that. There we are. Okay, so we just have to wait, which is quite common for these fights, where we just basically have to be very, very, very patient until he goes for like the monstrous strike with the bone hammer. And when he does that, we just have to basically be able to dodge and then use the strobe bulb in order to damage him or stun him, I guess. Wait, what? There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay, one more shot. Yikes, why did I get so close there? That was no need to play that one so closely. Okay. There we are. You'd think he would learn. Especially considering he's spending his time inside of a place that seems to be very historically significant. But I guess learning is not the best quality that these ghosts have. Whoo! And look at that. We managed to actually rescue Toad as well, which is awesome. Now, the one thing that is a little bit worrisome is that we don't have a brand new elevator button. So that's concerning, but who knows? Maybe we'll get one once we rescue Toad. I mean, I would imagine so, at least, right? So this is the second Toad that we've rescued, which means that there's only one other one to go after this, and then there's still Mario and Princess Peach. What? <laughs> Luigi's like, no worries. That's funny. Hey, thank you. Look at that. Okay, okay. Brand new elevator button. I can get it. Oh, okay. So we're not going up. It looks like we're actually gonna go lower to B2 level. Uh, you've managed to save another toad. Excellent. Show toad the elevator and I'll make sure he stays safe and sound in the lab. Okay, fair enough. Let's head this way, toad. Okay, wonderful. So, the one thing that we have not yet figured out is I was just kind of thinking maybe we would unlock some sort of an ability. Um, like maybe like a sound shattering ability or something like that that would allow us to um, clear out some of the glass items over here. Okay. Looks like that raven is out of there. So not much we could have done there. Okay. So for the time being, though, just need to press the elevator button and send Toad down to Professor Egad's lab. Uh-oh. It seems like Luigi's being surveyed upon, or I guess spied on would be more correct. And she's sending ghosts after him. It's a whole lot of screens showing the exact same thing, no? Oh, Egad is calling. What's up on the virtual boo? Yellow. Now then, Luigi, you still need to find one more toad, Princess Peach, and Mario. We're halfway there. Good luck. Sounds good. Thank you for the summary. I mean, I guess we kind of knew that because we just talked about that, but... Uh, wait on a minute. 
I just, I see in the reflection there, I'm like, is that going to be another chest or is that the previous one? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So now instead of heading to the 10th floor, which is what I thought we were going to do, we're actually going to go back down all the way down to B2, which is the boiler works. That sounds a little terrifying. Sounds like it's going to be uh, probably not particularly pleasant. But then again, which part of this trip has been particularly pleasant for Luigi? This guy's like, yay, hey, let's go on vacation. This will be awesome. A really cool, fancy hotel. And then it's like, oh, okay. It's haunted. And all your friends have been uh, imprisoned within paintings. So, you know, no big deal. Okay, Luigi, let's rock and roll, dude. Here we go. I like this music. It's kind of almost like a Western theme a bit. Kind of like a cowboy vibe. There is a pipe up there, which I wonder if Luigi could, uh, or sorry, Guigi could interact with. There's also, it seems like at least, a lower layer. See if my theory is correct about Guiji being able to. There's also a chest all the way up there. Do you see that? Hmm. I wonder how we're supposed to get to that chest up there. Guess we'll figure that out. Dude. Sorry, Guiji. Can we not? Can we not go in there? I guess not. Can Guiji fall through this? Or is this grade too small? I guess this is too small. Hmm. Here we go. Looks like we triggered a cutscene. Who's this? No. Where was that? Where did that duck just come from? Uh-oh. What is happening? Uh, Luigi. Just a hunch, but you might want to run. Because I think this guy just turned up the heat, literally. Move! Oh, it's just water. Okay. That was going to be like steaming hot water or just really hot steam. So the problem here is that, of course, we can't get Luigi past this point. So that's a tad bit concerning. Wait a minute. So it looks like we're probably going to need to figure out a way up there in order to get... Hmm. There must be a way... Can we... Like, I'm curious. If you change that, does that change... Oh, it doesn't change that. Pipe must be connected to something. Right? I mean, that's quite obvious. I guess it's just a matter of trying to figure out what exactly is it connected to. Okay. <laughs> so many rubber ducks here. I don't understand why. Uh, okay. A bit more treasure back here. There we are. And another pretty significant amount of rewards. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap things up here just because I feel like we've gotten a lot of stuff done and I want to be able to go on ahead and uh, have a good kind of relaxing spot to end the episode. So we'll end things off here. Next episode, we're going to kick things off by solving this next upcoming pos uh, puzzle. And then, of course, carry on our way through the B2 level of Luigi's Match in 3. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.